What's going on? How are you guys this week? Another Monday in the Matrix at Frankie's Sea Range Meet. And guys, that vlog I did last Tuesday, I was so negative, I didn't even want to post it, but <laughs> I should have recorded the, the, the Thursday after that because I, I was completely losing it, guys. I was on the phone for like an hour every day that week trying to find a cold shipping company to deliver the marrow bones here. And I finally got one, $1,500 to drive from Jersey to the Bronx, which I mean, it's not completely outside of the realm of possibilities, but 800 would have been more reasonable. And on that same Thursday, while I was losing my shit from that, I got sent a Con Ed bill for $2,200 for just the month of November. And the only reason the bill would have been that much higher is because I ran the new dehydrator six times. Now, before the Con Ed bill was 1200 which I've already spoken about many times when I've had a big problem with trying to get it sorted out. And, you know, being jerked around by electricians in Con Ed, I'm talking to my lawyer now, I don't know what to do. But there's no way that makes any damn sense. Because that means that if you ran a laundromat, your electric bill would be $10,000 a month. What am I doing down here? I got some lights on, I got a fridge running, and I got a dehydrator. What is the electric bill for a supermarket? Fifteen, twenty thousand dollars a month? No, it's clearly not. And I know I'm getting around by Con Ed. And my parents were too. But I mean, this is a business. I'm getting charged way more. And the electric bill at my parents' house, it's the same from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. as it is from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. And what that means is, <laughs> Con Ed is saying you're using the same amount of electricity during the day as you are at night, which is not possible because during the day you got lights on, you're doing stuff. So you know, I, I know Con Ed jerks people around and they have a monopoly on it. So if any of you guys know what I should do, because my landlord, hire, of course he hires an electrician that just agrees with him and says, oh, it's fine. And then I, I get slapped with, like, like I, I know there's some dirty fucking rat that works at Con Ed watching this. All right, I've had enough. All right, you guys, get, you guys get the point. So on the more positive note, the Marabones might finally come in this week, so I might have to be on the bandsaw for, for a little while, but we should get them packaged up very nicely. 100% grass-fed organic Marabones. We're going to do the pipe cut just because, you know, doing the canoe cut on the saw is just not feasible or safe. I had a new idea for uh, a new bar with, like, uh, some fruits and nuts and stuff with, like, all organic, high-quality stuff, easy on your stomach, but I won't announce what that is until I actually decide I'm going to do it. Uh, but one, one comparison I wanted to do was to show you guys how much jerky is four ounces of ours versus the supermarket. So a lot of you guys were asking that. This is three ounces of jerky from Whole Foods. This is four ounces of jerky from us. And even though this is a slightly smaller amount, this looks to be double or triple the volume. So I'm just going to open these up and we'll pour them out. When they make this commercial jerky in the store, even when it's grass fed and organic ingredients, the marinades and the spices weigh it down so much they're able to sell, you know, three ounces and then four ounces of just pure meat looks like, you know, three to four times the volume. So I would bet you're actually getting more meat per dollar buying this than that. That's like, a, yeah, that's a pretty crazy, that's a pretty crazy comparison there. And this tastes like garbage. So, I mean, I, I don't even, I don't even eat this stuff anymore after trying this. It's just pure beef, no salt, nothing added. Flavor's amazing, delicious. And just smelling this stuff is making me nauseous with all the soy and spices and stuff and seasonings. So that's why you're paying $15 for four ounces of jerky, whereas they're charging, I think this is six or seven dollars for three ounces in Whole Foods. I know I said we might be able to do the meat granola down here, and I'm gonna experiment a little more, but I think I need a meat grinder, which I'm just not gonna get down here with, uh, you know, just one more piece of equipment. Set it up for a single phase, 110 volt, there's no point. I gotta get the hell out of this, this slumlord warehouse because it's the only reason I'm losing money. And you know, hopefully if I stick it out for another six months, a year or two, which I don't think I'm gonna last to be honest, then when I get into my own building, if I can afford it, then I'll actually start making a good amount of money. I guess let's take a look around real quick to see what's going on today. I got one of my guys doing the orders for Frankie Strange Foods, Naturals, Wi-Fi Shielding, Organ Supplements, maybe 50 altogether. One of my guys is doing uh, some meat orders. It's around noon now, so we've already got most of the meat orders done for Monday. Everything here, everything here, 
and that's the priority. If we ship everything out on a Monday, it's not gonna get held over the weekend. Everyone's gonna get their meat. It's gonna be nice and cold. Whey protein in stock, flextrose in stock. We got the berry bars, we got the chocolate bars, we got pemmican, we got vanilla. Everything on Frankie's Strange Foods for the most part. Both water kefir in stock. We got the lemon lime ginger, which last batch really delicious. We got the plain stuff. Water kefir grains are down there. We got all the different beef fats, beef tallows. Regular beef tallow here. Wagyu tallow. Eventually we'll run out of this, maybe in a couple months, a year's time. But until then, I don't think I showed you guys this yet. The Bezerba meat slicer I bought last week for 1300. Now these are $8,000 new, but the automatic assist didn't work on this one. And I'm assuming that you wouldn't use that anyway, but I'm not hundred percent sure. So let me know if that's important guys. I bought a sharpener that I have in my car right now and we haven't tried this out yet, but um, you know, it is top of the line brand. It's the ones they use in all the delis, Costco, big supermarkets, Whole Foods. And we're just gonna use this to cut down on some labor costs on the jerky. And it's wired for 110 volts, so I didn't have to do anything for it. What's it called? Uh, economies of scale, where you're so large like Costco or Whole Foods that, that your profit margins and your volume are, are excellent so that when you open a new store, you know, you're willing to spend $10,000 on, on a new piece of equipment instead of buying it for 20 or 30% of the price and it working just as well. The difference is there's a lot more effort and time required to source uh, the used equipment. And if you're buying high volumes of it, it, it can be next to impossible to get enough of it. Let's hop in the freezer. I don't think we have much to look at today, but I'll probably show you guys all the steaks we have uh, later this week, maybe on Thursday, because I haven't done that yet. So two of my guys are in the fridge finishing up the orders that were placed over the weekend. Uh, we cut a lot of porterhouse steaks uh, over the weekend as well. We have plenty, 1.5 pounds. We got some two pounders and some smaller ones as well. If you guys want the bone in, 100% grass fed, grass finished T-bone steaks. Plenty of skirt steak back in stock. You guys have been buying a lot of this. Hanger steak, tri-tip steak, a lot of brisket as well. Um, I guys put the bone and ribeyes over here. So we got bone and ribeyes, bone in New York strip. Uh, and we did get some beef kidneys back in stock that we ran out of last week. The free promotion this week is ground bison. We'll probably have this for another week or two. So if you guys want to try one pound of lean grass-fed bison with your order, everyone gets it. We got plenty of whole chickens in stock, decent amount of chicken wings. We are running low on the other stuff. A couple thighs and drumsticks, tenders and breasts left. So we'll have to cut some more up this week. So we got a few things back in stock last week. One was the venison Denver leg, which is like just maybe an eight ounce steak. That's a pretty nice flavor, very lean. We got the bone-in New York strip porterhouse steaks that you guys just saw. And we also got the Wagyu beef fat back in stock. And then this week, in addition to those marrow bones, we should also have just organic beef fat in stock, the suet fat that you guys have been waiting quite a while for. I've been down here every day, so I've been doing a pretty good job at staying on top of stuff. It's just discouraging when, you know, I haven't been making money enough to expand the business, let alone pay myself. So I'm sticking it out as much as I can. You know, the, the price of everything is going up. I'm trying to adjust the meat prices with it, but problem is if I increase the prices too much or if I get rid of the, you know, 10% discount, then I'm going to probably lose customers to the point where I'm going to have to actually consider closing the business, which we don't want. I guess we'll walk downstairs. I mean, I don't have anything new to show you guys on organ supplements and Wi-Fi shielding. However, we should have some new products coming in that I have mentioned briefly so so for the vitamins and minerals i think i'm going to offer some zinc and you know if you're a carnivore you don't need it you're probably actually deficient in copper and you have too much zinc but after you've been off the carnivore diet for six months a year then you might have to start supplementing some zinc depending on your meat intake and you guys have been asking for the adrenals for a while on the bovine powders i'm going to try to get some in within the month for the wi-fi shielding stuff I should have the winter clothing in hopefully by early January, a little later than I wished. But we also might do, uh, we have some smart meter guards that you can put on. We're going to have some router protectors, like a cage you can put your router in, and maybe some cell phone stuff too. So a couple new things to add to Wi-Fi shielding. And then Frankie's Naturals, I'm procrastinating. I need to make a new batch of deodorant and lip balm. Speaking of Wi-Fi shielding. You know, the EMF levels in this building aren't actually that bad. 
uh, I mean down here they're moderate to high but if I go into this uh, room over here it actually goes down to green because the walls are partially cinder block so it's not like crazy crazy high in here I'm not completely frying myself the main downside of that slaughterhouse I was supposed to buy was the guy's office was right across from the three phase electric install so he was cooking himself every day I don't know how the guy did it I was in that room for 30 minutes my brain was completely screwed uh, that's probably contributed to the reason he wanted to sell the business to be honest and I found another property that kind of fit the bill about two hours north of New York but I was looking at the real estate pictures and they put the power line right next to the residential house so I might go take a look at it but it's just tough you know either either the electrical lines and stuff are hooked up so it's, it's dangerous to the people occupying the space or living at the residence or there's like a new five grams tower that's within eyesight uh, so I guess that's going to be it for today guys uh, as usual you know if you had a crazy amount of money it would kind of solve all the business problems but uh, that would be no fun right so you guys can go to frank to check out all of my businesses if you'd like to see our interesting products and support me uh, you know I've been really trying to focus on just getting everything I've been saying for the past few years if I could get the eggs rolling the dairy the fresh meat consistently this year that might be the goal or one of my viewers said to come to Moscow there's plenty of beautiful Russian girls with giant tits so that could be the other uh, that could be the other option uh, so please drop a like on the video guys leave a comment down below subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos uh, if you missed anything I posted over the weekend uh, the video that was taken down on Friday is actually available and we did a pretty funny video on Sunday on our our Asian girlfriend to tell me. So check those out. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.